Nah, this is Daddy's house. Tonight we're making pineapple ginger uh, beer. <laughs> Stay tuned. Okay, so here, before we start our, our combining, we're just going to get our yeast started, okay? So here, we have some red star distillers yeast, real good, powerful stuff. And this is some regular um, Fleiss yeast, just regular baking yeast. And what I did was combined all three separate ones of my yeast mixture into some warm water, not boiling. We are now just stirring it up, maybe sure the yeast mixture is going down with the water well. And after we get it nice and stirred up, what we're going to do is we're going to add some of this awesome uh, yeast nutrient, which is just basically food for those little hungry guys. And that's going to get them started cooking up and mix this in thoroughly. Water. You can see as it starts to foam, that's the yeast coming alive. They're producing the gas, they're producing bubbles, and that bubbles, that's that sign of life. So I'm still going to give them a good 30 minutes to really get alive and get cooking. I think we're going to drop some nutrient in, but by the time we do all of that, we're going to have our mixture concocted. Let's go to the lab. Okay, we have our gallon chamber. We have two quart chambers. We have two things of nice pineapple nectar here. We got some brown sugar. We got some ginger juice. We got some Key West lime juice. A little bit of sorrel. And some turmeric. Some juice, turmeric juice here. We're gonna make us some nice pineapple ginger fermented drinks here. First thing we wanna do is get this sugar into these containers. Once that sugar dissolves in this warm water, we can start adding the rest of our ingredients and concocting this mixture uh, before we put in our live yeast mixture that we mixed up earlier. All right, that was some hard work. But here we have our wonderful looking uh, brew that we made here. Beautiful colors. I'm really impressed by the colors here. This is the one with the sorrel. You can see the bubbles. That's the process of fermentation start to take place right as before our eyes. The bubbles is what this, um, the yeast gives off, it turns to sugar and this beautiful gas. The bubble chambers are starting to move. This is the one with the turmeric. As we see, the nice head forming there. Bubbles are starting to rise to the top. And this is the pineapple ginger. Looking really delicious already, to tell you the truth. Again, has a nice head on top. Bubbles are starting to form. And we're gonna just check on this every day. Uh, the bubblers here, make sure that the gas inside the bottle um, uh, don't expand too much. Anytime there's, eno there's enough expansion, they just release the gas through the water. Um, like I said, we're gonna keep an eye on this day by day. In about two weeks, we're gonna check on the process of the yeast to make sure that they're still lively and they're still in the process of fermentation. And maybe in about three weeks, I might uh, do some draining and give it a taste. Like I said before, we have brown sugar in there. We have some key lime flavor, which is key lime juice. We have some pineapple nectar. We have some sorrel flour in here. We have some ginger juice which is just pureed ginger down real fine 
And we also have in here some turmeric juice, which is basically the same thing. I think this stuff is gonna be delicious, um, healthy, and I think it's gonna be very refreshing. Uh, we're gonna be back and we're gonna check the progress when this stuff gets done or as the process takes, takes a little long. So we'll check the progress and stages, come back and see how this stuff turns out. Thanks for spending some time with me tonight at the up close view of their fermentation taking process. As you see, this is the yeast rising up to the top, getting into that sugar. This is the bubbler here, just releasing those gases. We got some good chemical reactions here. This is the turmeric. As you can see, the yeast coming up through the top. I really think that's such a beautiful color. And again, that bubbler getting to work, that gas being released through that water. Again, this is that sorrel, that beautiful sorrel mixture. It actually has a few different colors in there. That's some of that yeast dumped down at the bottom, that sorrel at the top. And again, that bubbler is just a chilling along expressing that gas you know i love to see these chemical reactions happen uh and i i just can't wait to anticipate i can't wait to taste this stuff i'm really really um excited to taste it right now this is uh this is a magical thing all right so what we did here we have i put a half a pound of brown sugar into this uh growler here i used the other quarter in these two. Uh, I didn't use that much brown sugar this time because the pineapple nectar that we use is actually really sweet. The pineapple is a very sweet uh, fruit and I wanted to leave some room for the pineapple to fit in there. I used uh, about 20 ounces of pineapple nectar here. I used 10 in each one of here. I used half warm water in each one of these chambers. Uh, we also used eight ounces of uh, uh, turmeric juice. We used 12 ounces of our ginger juice. We use just a splash of key lime, key lime flavor. Now that's up to you. Um, and I just used a handful of sorrel flowers, nothing too strong. We just want to give it a nice hint of the sorrel flavor and that beautiful color that you see over there. Um, we just make sure everything's shaking well, make sure everything is uh, all the sugar is dissolved into the water. And you know, this this is science, but it's not that hard to, to, to replicate. Uh, it's it's just like cooking, you know, you do it by flavor and I think you should play around. Um, like I said, we're watching these things. We're gonna keep our eye out and, and make sure that the process is taking place uh, um, cleanly. Uh, we're, we're getting great reactions already. The bubblers are going great. You can see the yeast moving and we're going to put them in a nice, uh, cool, uh, dark uh, uh, place. And we're going to allow the fermentation process to ch take place. I'm going to check on them uh, here and there to make sure that everything is everything. And this is pretty much an automatic process. The bubblers make it a lot simpler. So we make sure that we're not going to have any explosions or anything like that. Um, but this is the process. It's, it's, it's not that hard. You make your ingredients, you add your sugar, you add your yeast. You have a few specialized products like the yeast nutrient and some other things, potassium sorbate, some things like that. But that's more advanced stuff. If you want to make a nice, uh, relaxing drink uh, with your own bare hands, it's really simple as just taking a trip to your refrigerator or your local grocery store and picking up the proper um, ingredients, putting them together and knowing what you're looking for, for bottling. Um, uh, any any questions, any comments, any concerns, anything you have to add, if you have a recipe for me, if you like something we'd like to try out, put them in the comments, you know, shoot us, shoot us a comment and really get active. This is a great process and I, I thank you for watching. Um, check back with us to see the process on these beautiful drinks.